In 2000, my brother came to Canada, to Vancouver and Toronto for an, an English exchange. And I knew that I was coming for a couple of months of studying in 2001. So I went into ICQ and I searched Vancouver. And then my husband showed up. He thought that it was very weird that, you know, a Brazilian would like to come to Canada. How come? Because 23 years ago, you know, Canada was not this place where everybody wanted to come and visit and immigrate and come to study. So that's how the conversation started. So I met him in Vancouver in 2001. Mm -hmm. We dated for three months. Then I went back to Brazil. A year later, he went to visit me. And then a year after that, I decided to move to Canada. Yeah. And uh, where did he stay in Brazil? In my house. In my with, with your parents? Mom's apartment. Oh, yeah. how was that? I know. Yeah. So that was that was good. He's a lovely person. He's super easygoing and funny and everybody likes him and wants to be best friends with him. And my mom and my family love him since the beginning. So it was very cool. We went to the beach, right? We did like some touring around with friends. He had his life established in Calgary at the time and his profession, and he didn't speak Portuguese, right? So it was a matter of if we wanted to be together, I would have to move to Canada. So I wanted to come to Canada to be with him, you know, to have a family with him, to find a job and improve my English. So I didn't have that big goal, right? Like nowadays you hear immigrants coming to Canada and they have big aspirations, right? Big dreams. But maybe I was a little bit too young for that at the time, right? I, I hadn't found yet my professional path. So I didn't know what to envision that big to be my goal, right? So I went to law school for four years. I was almost uh, graduating when I moved to Canada. So then when I moved to Canada, I had to give up on the law studies because I didn't have enough English to pursue something like that. Law school is really hard, right? I needed to work full time. So I started my life in Canada from scratch. Literally, I didn't have a profession. I just, I came here and I had to start from the beginning and find out what I would like to do. How difficult was it? It was difficult. I had support, but I didn't come with much money at all. If I am not crazy, I came with maybe $1,500. My husband had his job and he had an apartment in downtown Calgary. But I knew that I needed to work right away, right? So as soon as I came, the next day, I printed out a resume that nowadays nobody does that, where I put every single work experience I've ever had since I was 14 years old. Nowadays, you kind of pick which part of your resume you're going to share, right? So I put everything and I went out. I remember it was minus 30 degrees in Calgary. And I went all by myself with my resume printed and I dropped it off at the flower shop, at the supermarket, at the daycare, anywhere, any little place that was open in, down, in downtown Calgary. I just dropped it off. Then a daycare owner called me, I remember on a Saturday morning, and he said, it seems that you are a little bit overqualified because you were finishing law school, but I need a daycare educator assistant. So come here, let's do an interview. And if you like it, and if we get along, I'll hire you. And that was my first job in Canada. Working at a daycare. Working at a daycare. And now you own a daycare. And now I own a daycare. Wow. So 20 years later? Very cool.